Hello world of YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Who to the Sims. So today I actually have a very special new series starting. I actually got inspiration from some other YouTubers uh, to do this challenge. And it is the Island Challenge. So we're going to go over some rules first before I reveal our um, current characters on the island. So it says, far away in a Simsian sea lies a tropical island without a name. It is home of two gods. One is the red fire god, Lam Lamatipoka? I don't know how to say that. Who lives in the volcano of the island and is unforgiving sort is an unforgiving, short-tempered god who constantly asks for favors, rituals, and offerings to still his hunger for attention. The other one is the absolute counterpart of the volcano god. Its appearance is so beautiful, there is no comparison of beauty in the universe. I can't talk. It's the wise white god of light, fertility, and humor. They say it answers to the name of player. This god wants that every plant, animal, and sim living on the island flourishes and reaches its full potential. Player keeps the balance of nature on the island and watches over every single being that lives on it, especially the Sims. So that's the background. And now there's a thing called the prophecy. It is said that one day two Sims will reach the island and the final battle of the god gods begin. Both gods will work wonders and miracles to change the course of fate of the island. They say that only eight Sims who are master survivors will perform the ritual of all the rituals and free the island of this battle and ascend to the heavens of glory. All right, so here's your goal. It's to have eight sims living on the island that are at least level four in fishing, fitness, and gardening at the end of it. The challenge fails if all sims are dead, so keep them alive. Okay, so this is also some side notes with the challenge. So once a day, it doesn't matter what time you decide to roll the dice. Um, I was watching a YouTuber who did it at 8.02 a.m. Actually, 8 o'clock I am. My gosh, I just said 8.02 because that's what the game's paused at um, <laughs> in my game. Um, we might do a different time. I kind of like the idea of doing it at noon every day, like noon p.m. Um, and basically, if you were to do this challenge, you either need a pair of digital dice, two six-sided dice. Um, yeah, a sixer is what they call them, and you need two of those um, because you need to have numbers 1 through 12 if you roll them. Um, you need two sims starting out and a lot with an island. And you guys can just go ahead and download the island that I made on the gallery too. Because um, it did take me a lot of time and it will take you guys a ton of time too. So um, yeah, just check that out if you want to try this out. And the sims must be young adults. That's part of the rules. Um, the traits and aspirations don't matter. So choose wisely. A squeamish snob will make the challenge harder than a cheer for outdoor lover. Kind of obvious. Um, gender doesn't matter, however, it is recommended to start with a couple that can produce children. So we do have a male and female sim. You don't know their names or anything about them yet, but we'll get into that in a second. Both sims start with no skills and nothing in their inventory. So I can show you that in a second too, just to kind of prove that I'm not cheating this at all. Um, appearance doesn't matter. You can make them look and dress however you like. I just made them dress as if they were on a hot island, you know? Like, I want to make this look realistic. Um, both sims can either know each other or they can be complete strangers to one another. The relationship between them does not matter. You control all sims that are on the island, so you can control them. The island lot is a new home of your sims and will be the main stage until completion of the challenge. So build and decorate it accordingly. On the island, you should bring... You should... You should be a big volcano pool. The sims should be able to reach the volcano pit to be able to take a swim. The layout's totally up to you. You can use as many plants, trees, and stones from build by mode you like. If you're not that much of a builder, you would like to start right away, you may use the island that this person has created. They also have a download link, and I will be putting these rules as well in the video info box. Okay, so here's setup and arrangement for the island. Uh, necessary start objects. One workbench, which I kind of assumed was like the woodworking table. Um... One bench, just in general, it just says one bench. One garbage bin, one sink, one campfire, or grill for base game only. Either Every other usable object has to be crafted during game play. This crafting system will be explained down below. I can't talk. Okay, so debug objects. So there's a cheat that you guys have to do um, to get these objects in your game, and it does say how to do them in the rule book, so look at that. But you need five, at least five hard, uh, vegetable plants or fruits placed on the lot or more. 
one fishing ground, um, and that is actually a mod that you have to install separately. You can install a pond, or you can install like a fishing sign so it goes in your pool. If I can find that mod again, I will also put that link in the description. And you need 20 twigs or more placed on the lot, which again is another debug object. So you start the game with setting aging off, which I will do in a second here. You let your swims, your <laughs> let your swims, let your sims swim to the island. Block off the island so your sims can't leave the lot so other sims NPCs can't get in, which I already have done. So if you do download my lot, just uh, right click or shift click on the ground um, and have your sims teleport into the lot that I made. As a god, you have mighty powers and you can use them right away from the start. Use Control shift c to activate your powers and type in three spells. Testing cheats on. Household auto pay bills true, so your sims don't have to pay bills. I mean, it's not a big deal with the challenge because you can just do money cheats. Because you have to have it for some reason it says to set your money to six 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 nine nine nine, which kind of makes sense. Like this is the two different gods, you know, like the devil god, the mean god is six six six, the good god's nine nine nine. Um, if you reload the game, you have to redo this procedure. We don't want your godly powers to get rusty, do we? That's just a comment. Um, so your sims can't leave the island, they're cut off from civilization, no jobs, no luxury items, no electricity. So if you catch your sims on their phones, just exit out of it. Um, they're stranded, they're exhausted, but they have hope. Um, you're their new godly helper, and they you ensure basically that they gonna, they're going to make the final ritual. And that they um, kind of please the gods every day. So, let's see. Um, I'm kind of skipping through this. Crafting is a key aspect during the challenge. Sims can create some furniture pieces or art with the workbench, but can also collect twigs that are shattered throughout the island to create some usable objects. Um, every day the gods will intervene and will change the fate of your sims. Roll the dices to know what they have in store for them. So there's the dice rolls are also listed below. Um, kind of what you get when you roll, but that's pretty much the gist of the challenge. Um, it just kind of shows what cheats you would use when you roll certain, you know, die numbers and so on and so forth. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to reveal our sims right now. So, this is our main sim. So, her backstory is she woke up from, um, I don't know. She doesn't know exactly what happened, but she woke up without a memory at all of whatsoever why she's here, um, why this strange man is with her. She doesn't remember anything. Um, but her name is, we're going to scroll over it so you guys can see it. Oh, it's down here. Kalani Mahalona. So she is Hawaiian. Um, she's from the current island that we are on, but she doesn't know that. Um, she, I'll list her traits too, guys. She is, my goodness, her traits are loves the outdoors, outgoing, collector, and gloomy because she does have the outdoor enthusiast aspiration. So that is Kalani. And now we have Hanini. Hanini? That's how I would say it. He's also Hawaiian, Hawaiian descent. They both have scars because, like I said, she got her head, she just doesn't know what happened. So she must have hit her head on a rock or something arriving on the island. Um, the scars will clear as the series go on, but he also has a scar over his eye. Keep that in mind. Um, his name's Hanini Hale, and his traits are evil, ambitious, bro, and moozer. Um, I didn't change his aspiration. We're going to do that later on, but that's just, I kind of randomized the traits. So, but yeah, so their backstory is, is that they arrived on this island. They have no idea what happened. Um, Kalani kind of just woke up and was here and she she doesn't remember ever like being here before um and Hanini is the same way so we're gonna see how this story plays out with these two sharing the island together but like I said make sure you type in those testing cheats on and make sure you teleport your sims into the island and I'll give you an overlook of this place too so I did create this all myself I'm starting this in spring so the plants don't look as um you know like as fresh or grown as they should when it's in summertime, um, which I recommend probably playing with the Island Challenge, but I'm just going to start with spring. Um, but yeah, this is the, the lot that I made. Um, you guys feel free to change it if you need to. 
Um, like I noticed here for some reason some of my rocks went missing, so it looks like they can leave the island, which is not a good thing. They're not supposed to be able to leave. So I'm gonna have to add rocks there. But yeah, this is the lot. Um, it took me quite some time to build this, um, but honestly I think it turned out really nice. So here's the center part of the island. So this is where your sims will spend most of their time. Um, so they want you to have a trash can. This is what the twigs look like. And your sims can put them in their inventory. I have the workbench here. Um, I also have a fire pit. I decided to do a fire pit um, just because it was more realistic to actually being, you know, stuck on an island. You wouldn't have a grill realistically. And I downloaded a mod um, so you can actually place fishing signs and they work in pools. So there's actually fish swimming around in the water. If I hit play, it might show up. I don't know. Let's see. Play. Come on. Um, there they are. Yeah, right here. You can see them swimming. Cool. And I recommend putting the bushes from the get-together pack in here just so they can fertilize the bush, you know what I mean? Like, go pee in the bush so you don't actually have to have a toilet. Um, because that's one of the items you're actually not allowed to have. So I would recommend having the get-together pack before trying this challenge out. And I also did this mod download for this pond, and your sims can actually click on it and go fishing or even look for frogs. Um, and I actually made this, like, cute little waterfall thing, actually just using fountains. If I go into here, you can see them. Yep, there they are. But yeah, that's the secrets of the island, and if you go up these stairs, this is the volcano. And I don't know why I have this floating block, <laughs> um, here. That's kind of frustrating. I'll get rid of that. But um, this is where your sims go when you roll a certain number on the dice. Um, you actually can roll a number to where your sims are being forced to be killed. So kind of keep an eye on that. But you have to kill them in the volcano by closing the walls off and having them drown in the volcano. It's kind of brutal, I know, but that's just the rules of the challenge. But... Like I said, guys, I am very excited to start this challenge. I'm definitely going to remove that thing, and I need to turn aging off before we start. So I'm just going to do that off camera, and then we can get started with this challenge. It's going to be fun, guys. Okay, so I did um, change aging off, and I also t was looking at seasons just to kind of see if I could tweak um, like the seasons, just making it summer the whole time, but I can't just going through game options. So I'm going to have to look up some cheats later. But anyways, so we're going to have them go into the island. Um, teleport here. You're not in our, either, are you? Where are you, Hanini? Oh, he is in. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that there was open holes over here. All right, we're going to have to fix that before we start gameplay. So I'm just going to zoom in. BB There we go. Size this up. Rower right here. And we need one over here too because this is open as well. Oh my goodness. How did I miss this? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe mm, this game probably just kind of messed it up. I swear I had things over here, but whatever. All right, they're placed now. We're it's not a big deal. We fixed it. Okay. I'm just going to double check to make sure we're not missing any other rocks. I don't think we are. Like this looks okay, I think. I think. What the heck? Okay. There. Okay, that looks a little better. That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, we need one here. Okay. You know what? Just because they gave us the mailbox, just in case we need it, I'm just going to leave it in this corner. Um, And we're going to take this. Oh, yeah, it's right here anyways. My goodness. Size that up. Put it right there. Perfect. Okay, and I don't think we're missing it anymore. All right, we'll go up a level and we will... Oops, not that high. One more. Where was that little square? Like, the, you guys saw that triangle earlier, didn't you? Like, I didn't remove it off camera. There it is. Can I remove it? Okay, good. It doesn't do anything to mess with my game. Perfect. Okay. Now we should be ready to go. 
So I decided that we're going to be doing the dice roll at noon every day, and it is 8 o'clock. So we got some time. She's in the island now. Um, perfect. And guys, you can only, you're only allowed to have one bed starting out. So this is their hut that I made them. You're allowed to have one hut too on the island when you start this challenge. But I did want the hut to blend in. So they have, the bed's missing, which is weird. Um, but there's a bed right here. And there's just seating and a bunch of stuff. So I think we're going to place the bed actually too. Oh my goodness, guys. Like I thought we were going to get into this challenge and we're not um because i have to place the bed apparently there we go i think we're just gonna remove actually no that's the bench we don't need this table this is the table right yeah we don't need the table we'll put the bench here um just because one of those sims are gonna have to sleep on that until we get another bed which is kind of sucky but whatever all right so we're gonna have oh she's on her phone no no electronics Oh my gosh, acquired video gaming skill. No, no electronics are allowed on the island. We're going to have them pick up twigs. I think we're going to have her be the, like, the holder of the twigs. I don't know why we can't actually pick them up. That's kind of weird. Um, never mind, we're not going to do twigs today. <laughs> we're going to go fishing. So, we're going to have her fish. We're going to have him maybe just, oh, he is already swimming. Just swim laps. Perfect. Okay, he's doing a good job already. And she's going to learn how to fish. So that is what she's going to work on. Most of her outfit, guys, is custom content. I apologize. Even her eyes are custom content. And she even has eyelashes. Um, I just love custom content, okay? Um, but yeah, Kalini is very pretty. Um, she does not, like I said, she does not know what happened. Um, she just kind of woke up and everything was a blank. Um, she ended up with this island and doesn't remember being with this guy, um, but he told her what happened and, you know, she trusts him, um, because he was there for her when she needed it most. So, she has no idea where her parents went, um, if she had any siblings, she doesn't even remember her siblings at all. But, um, so her, it's just a kind of a, it's a rough story and you're gonna learn more about it as we go on. That's the fun of it. So, so we're going to have her fish. And I think we're going to get in one dice roll today. Um, just because the episode's getting a little bit longer than I expected. And then maybe play a little bit beyond the dice roll. But I think we're going to stop before the second dice roll happens. Oh, good. He's actually... Oh, no. They're crafty. Dang it. Okay, we're going to have to... Is that the uncommon one? Why can't I see? Okay, you know... Move on. Move on, Kalini. We're gonna go over here. Try this one. Go fishing. And apparently he's gardening? Um, nope. You can't use your phone, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no, we cannot hire a professional gardener. I know you, you wish you could, but, um, that's not part of the island challenge. That's not fun. And I can't believe that you can't put these twigs in their inventory. Like... I don't understand. Anyways, we might just have to do it in build by mode and put it in the inventory because that's like something that you need to be able to grab. It's twigs. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any plants that he can tend to at the moment. I don't think that there is. I think that they all just need to sit and rest and grow. Um, where are all the plants? Because I had a couple. I think there was like six of them I placed down and I'm only seeing like three. Are they over here? No. Where are they? Okay. There's a couple that they just haven't grown. So he can water that one. That's for sure. Um, what's shining over here? Oh, it's the, is this the, tr it's the tree, isn't it? I can't tell. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's a plantain. This is a plantain plant, isn't it? Yeah. It's out of season. Okay, well, we're just going to put the bananas in his inventory then. We're going to plant that when it is in season. We're just going to have him water that anyways. And yeah, like, you cannot pick up the twigs. I'm clicking and I can't pick them up, which is super frustrating. But anyways, um, we're going to have him fish in the pond, I think. And we are 30 minutes away sim time from the dice roll. So 
we're going to have to... Oh, I'm excited what we're going to get. I really hope we don't get the death one right away. If we do, you know, I might just re-roll because I think that's kind of unfair. To, like, literally have your first roll be the death roll. Um, that would not be fun. Okay, so it is noon. So we're gonna go and do the dice roll. Guys, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited. Um, let's just see what we get. Let's just see what we roll. Um, I'm gonna try to find a physical pair of dice, but if I can't, we're doing it digitally. And we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, so I did end up finding some die, as you guys can see. There's nothing- ooh. Okay, there we go. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just regular, you know, six-sided die. So I'm going to find one of my books, use it as a flat surface, and just kind of roll and see what we get. Here, get the Harry Potter cookbook. Perfect flat surface. Okay, here we go. I'm going to aim the camera down so you can see what I am doing. Okay, one of them fell, so that one's a five. Let's just re-roll, because that's not a flat surface it landed on. So we rolled a 8. As you can see, that is a 8. Um, I'm nervous to see what this means for our simmies, but we'll see. Alright, so we're going to have to figure out what this roll means. So we rolled an 8, which means Lama Tipoka sending a thunderstorm to the island. Sadly, one of your sims, your choice, gets struck by lightning and loses 4 skill points. Ugh! Guys, we literally just started the challenge. Like, I know it's not a big deal to remove skill points because, like I said, we just started. But it's kind of frustrating because, you know, she started on her fishing skill and now we have to kind of zero it out back to the beginning. So, alright. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we have testing cheats enabled, so that's good. So, now we're going to have to type in the cheat for skills, which I need to find on the internet. So I have to type in stats, set, level, skill, oops, fishing, I think one, I think that would reset it, let's see. Um, no, that didn't do anything, crap, um, let's see, what's, can I MC command center this, um, for some reason that's not showing up, maybe I don't have to right click, okay, here we go, MC command center. MC, let's see, MC cheats, make heavy increase points, skill cheats, there we go, set skill, and we gotta find fishing next, I believe, where is fishing, next, fishing, here we go, nope, we have to set it, we have to set it to one, okay, all right, so we lost that skill point. Um, I suppose we could reset his fitness down to the lowest as it can go to because, like I said, our sims are brand new to this island, so we can't really remove that many um, skill points just yet just because, like I said, we're not far into the game at all. Um, so MC cheats, skill cheats, and he has, is it fitness? Fitness, yes. Set skill... Fitness, one. Okay, well, that's about as far back as we can go. Can we go, like, can I type zero? Can we do that? Cool. Okay, so that did it. Guys, now we officially got our first dice roll. It did hurt a little bit, but, you know, um, we kind of haven't been playing much, so it's not horrible. Um, it could be worse. It could be losing a lot more skill points. Um, she thought she caught a fish. Did you see that? Oh, my gosh. Kalini, you, you're such a derp. She's so pretty, though. I can't handle it. Oh, goodness. So, we're gonna have her continue to fish. And I think next episode, we're actually gonna start to have them interact with each other a little bit. Just so maybe we can kind of get the pot turning. Maybe they should, you know, get together. They're alone on the island. Um, They're gonna be alone for quite some time because you we only get to get new sims if we roll a six, guys. Um, you know, whether that be a four and a two, a three and a three, you know, if we roll a six, that's the only way we can get a new sim to the island, if I believe, if I'm looking at the rules right, that is the only number that allows us to get one new sim. 
Which is kind of weird because in the rule book it says that you could start with a female and a male and then, you know, have them be eligible for creating children. Um, I don't know if that's considered cheating. Like, if you have to roll six and then you can, you know, woohoo for a baby or try for a baby. I don't know. But I'm going to try to be as true to the rules as possible. And, um, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Like I said, if you loved this challenge and this episode so far... Ooh. Please give me a like and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And um, in case you didn't know, um, there's going to be new episodes coming up, I would say, maybe bi-weekly, I would expect it, at least. So every two weeks. Um, just because this is going to be a fun challenge for me to work with. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked it, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, um, kind of give some feedback, maybe with your knowledge. And she's apparently tweaking a little bit right now but um we're gonna end it here <laughs> rambling on but anyways guys for next time hoot out